um, I have the opportunity right now to do a video because I have to clean up a website. Uh, I think I have to clean up the website. We don't know for sure if it's been compromised, but um, rather than take the chance on having every anything happen um, or it be compromised and not have the opportunity to utilize the backups, we're going to do it now. So um, if you are a Pearl Turtle customer um, and you we are hosting your website, then it's going to be super easy for you to take care of your website. Uh, I can't say this for everybody. Um, hopefully, you know, you can get a hold of your hosting company, ask them to do a restore um, for your account, for your entire account, just blanket restore your entire account for the day, two days, five days, seven days, you know, a month. Um, we do daily backups, weekly backups, and, and we retain monthly off-site. So, um, you know, if something happened to your website, then we have it, we have it up to almost a month, obviously, because we'll overwrite and then do the month and then, you know, so... Um, if you are, then you're in luck. So basically, um, you go to your account, you click log in, enter your um, administration information, your, your access, and you will be brought to your um, account overview. So you're going to click this quick logins here, and you select, of course, the account that's affected. Um, this is the one that is maybe, possibly, like I said, I'd rather just... It's not something that I post to all the time, so I'm not really worried about overwriting files from the other day or two days ago, five days ago. So, uh, if if this does happen to you, you're going to log into your cPanel, and you're going to go down here to Restore Manager, and then I'm going to click on Restore Files, select the domain, select the date, Now I'm going to go back the week, because like I said, I want to make sure that we have it, and then I'm going to go check, 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 check. Page. As soon as I stop, it's gonna put those up there. So I gotta kind of scroll down there. It'd be nice if there was just one big button. It just I don't need to restore the backup. Check. I'm pretty sure it's the files alone. I don't know if we, or, uh, the folders. Like I'm sure, pretty sure that I could just I could do it with the includes and the uh, and the template files. But I want to make sure that I get it all. Stop for a sec. Does it thing? Okay, looks like restore. Click restore. You sure you want to do that? Yep. Okay, it was pretty easy. Just give it a second. It's just going to uh, go through the whole system, pull all the backups, populate, overwrite with the new stuff. So you got to wait until this little circle stops circling, spinning. I'm going to do that. Carry on. Okay, I think we're done. Yep, we're done. Um, then I'm going to go back to the home, and then I'm going to go back to the restore because that particular website is, is just like WordPress, just like Joomla, just like Drupal. It's database driven. So i got to grab the database and restore the database as well. So now that I've restored the files, I'm going to restore the files. Now I'm going to restore the database. Wait for that to load. Now it's my data file. Um, if you have more than one install, then you probably have to look in the config file to figure out which one that, because uh, usually, you know, I mean, if, if you look at your WordPress, it'd be like, WP one eight seven, you know what I mean? You know, when you restore, when you install it, you should know. Unless it was an automated thing, you use Fantastico Soft Delicious, something like that, then you won't know. And then, okay, but anyway, so I could help you find that if you need help. Um, restore the database for that one. If you want to restore? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Okay, boom, done. Now if I go to Okay, now um, I have taken preventative action in the last 24 hours um, to try and mitigate um, attacks on the server. So basically it's a, uh, the same thing you're going to do to your, your website. So if you have a WordPress website, and should, there should actually, if you're one of, our, one of our customers and you would have gotten a newsletter yesterday, the day before, um, telling what's happening and then pointing to a video. That, um, that I did about how to SEO a website because if we SEO your website, chances are that you have the better WordPress security um, installed already. So you may want to double check that. It does have instructions. It says what not to do. Um, right now there's also another one that's going out that says um, they want you to whitelist, blacklist every, every um, IP except for the one that you have uh, 
that can access your WP login file. Now, there's lots of inherent problems with that. If you ever a dynamic IP ever changes, you're not going to be able to get logged into your WordPress system. Of course, you can get into your HD access and re-edit that every single time your IP changes, whether or not you want to add your phone, whether or not you want to use your, you know. So there's there's inherent problems with that. So what I would what I did was I just blanket uh, blacklisted uh, China, Russia, a bunch of major. Um, hack central kind of you know no I'll never sell to them and I don't, none of my customers sell to them so I blanket blocked all of them actually here I'll show you why I'll show you uh, I'll go in here and type in no okay here we go look watch okay India China 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 these these are you know every day this was all yesterday and these are today China India. Anyway, um, so I just blocked that because nobody I know sells to. Anyway, um, so you can install the Better WordPress Security. I'm just going to go over it right now on the best way to set that up so that um, basically what's going to happen is it's going to protect you from that particular lock and brute force attack. That's how you're going to do it. You're going to install the Better WordPress Security plugin into your WordPress system. Click on the login tab. Go down here and set all these numbers to five. Now, in the video that I made, that if I don't know if you saw it or not. Um, but I had two, five, two, five, two. That's like some strict settings. So I'm going to leave that all at five, between two or five. You can actually leave the login time period. You can leave that to like 240. So because that's how long it's going to, that bad login is going to be remembered. So regardless of um, whether or not they, uh, leave that at two. regardless of whether or not they get banned, how long will that remember for, right? And then eventually it'll get blacklisted. Now, two attempts, it'll get blacklisted. So um, I don't want email notifications because you're going to get these every. You're going to get these like these, right? Except this is a server, of course. This is a web WordPress install, but it ha oh man, you'll still get them. So okay, so then we've protected. We've had the ability to restore should it happen. Um, if your website has been hacked and it's static. Like a static HTML website, still lots of those out there. Go to Google, okay. Type in your domain, and then if you mouse over, you see how there's like this arrow here. If you just mouse over all of these, yeah, you get that arrow. So click on that arrow, and then you'll see this cached right here. Check that. Wait until the page loads. Right-click, view page source. You can do this in uh, uh, Windows as well, and just select that whole thing and paste it into a notepad all of the pages before they get overwritten with the hacked version so hopefully that helps uh, like I said that's mostly for the people that already um, have purple turtle as their web host uh, and tips for people that don't <laughs>